Drive to the Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Weird Al Yankovic has a bone to pick with Lady Gaga, not because she turned down a song, but because she made him jump through hoops and then turn down a song. Ah. You see, Weird Al wanted to do a parody of Born This Way, but it's his policy to get approval from artists he spoofs, even though he legally doesn't have to. I think that's very nice. Well, he says he sent the concept to her management, even offering to donate the proceeds to the human rights campaign. They said Lady Gaga wanted to hear the song before she'd approve it. He wrote lyrics to perform this way and sent them, but her management said she wanted to hear it. He says he never goes on the expense of recording a song to get approval, but he cut his family vacation short and did for her. And then she turned it down, oh. and she didn't say why, so Yankovic will offer it as a free MP3 on his website. Police in Anaheim, California, say they're investigating death threats against Friday singer Rebecca Black. They say that the family received two threats through her management and a production company. They don't know if they were serious threats or someone trying to be funny, but police are taking them seriously. The lineup of American Idol contestants gets whittled down to six tonight. Last night, singers got to perform their choice of any song from the 21st century. Casey Abrams scored the surprise move of the night when he kissed Jennifer Lopez on the cheek as he sang Maroon 5's Harder to Breathe. Oh! Judge Steven Tyler says he's been trying to do that for months. No kidding. 18-year-old actress Demi Lovato has announced she's leaving her Disney Channel sitcom Sunny with a Chance in order to focus on her music. Cougar Town star Josh Hopkins confirms he's going to ref- or continues to refute reports that he's dating castmate Courtney Cox, but he does says that she's really hot. Kate Hudson, who's expecting a baby via boyfriend Matt Bellamy, tells InStyle magazine there are currently no plans for the couple to wed. Beyonce's new tune, Girls, has leaked on the internet. The song is reportedly the lead single as her yet untitled fourth solo album, thought to be coming out in June. And 61-year-old Oscar-winning actor Jeff Bridges, who portrayed a country singer on screen in Crazy Heart, has signed a real-life recording deal with Blue Note Records. His debut major label album is scheduled for release in late summer. Everybody's getting a recording contract. Every actor's getting a recording contract. Celebrating a birthday today, share this date with Queen Elizabeth. She's 85 today. Actor Tony Danza is 60. And Olympic champion Paris figure skater Jamie Soleil is 34. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, 95.5 Hits FM.